Can you tell I'm not cut out for war situations? Hey guys, Kieran here. I am back with a brand new Let's Play. That's alright, we're going to do a first time playthrough of Call of Duty. Call of Duty. So let's um, get on with this, shall we? Yeah, we should. So, um, there's no middle ground. So I, I don't know if I want to do regular or hardened. Let's try hardened. I might regret this, but whatever. August 9th, 1942. Camp Tacoa, Georgia. More long marches tomorrow than obstacles with Captain Foley and weapons training with Sergeant Moody. Everyone is dead tired. Another guy got RTU returned to unit yesterday. He begged the sergeant to let him stay. My unit, the 56th Paratrooper Regiment, is an all-volunteer unit. I'm lucky to serve with these guys. There's no one I'd rather have matching my back. Our officer's drills usually... Oh, hang on. Sorry, my reading. I'm having trouble reading this handwriting. Our officers drill us constantly, continuously. I've trained for months and I haven't even jumped out of an airplane yet. The army has never had an airboard unit before and that makes the brass nervous. And what makes the brass nervous makes us drill even harder. Right. Captain Koa, GA, USA. All right. Hi. Private Martin, you're on the obstacle course and doing weapons training today. Cool. Before starting the obstacle course, read each of these important signs and do what they tell you. Will do. Use grenades to flush out hard points. Cool. What's a hard point? Slack. What is a attack? Attack! Attack! Move together as a team. No. Don't make the same mistake. Always move from cover to cover. Do they know who they're talking to here? Have the Good. Now check your objectives. You'll notice that your current objective is highlighted. In addition, the location of your current objective is marked by the star on your compass. As you approach your current objective, the star will move toward the center of your compass. Approach your current objective. Hang on, I'm still reading the signs. Always reload before going into Five battle. To the left. Good advice. Shut up. Suppress, then now flank. Five to the right. Oh my god, hang on. Wait, what? That was five the... Paces forwards. Sorry. That's it. Close enough. <laughs> you will notice that objective is checked off and you now have a new one. Oh yeah, tab. Alright, Martin. Open the gate and run the obstacle course. Go, go, go! I was looking at that. Yeah, open the gate to the obstacle course. No, that's the barracks. Ah, here we go. Martin, good Hi. to see you. Move it, ladies. This is not your C. Oh. Come on, Elder. Get the lead out. Bing, bing. Good work. Those new not suits bad. can be tricky. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I have. Practice this bit. I've done this before. Fire up those machine guns. Live rounds. That seems safe. Hi, I'm winning. Climb these ladders, Private. Wait. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Can we? Oh yeah, you can climb down. What? Right. Private Martin, proceed through that door. Sergeant Moody's gonna take you through weapons training. Weapons. The rest of you ladies, stay right here. Ladies. Eyes up, Private. Hi. I'm up here in the observation tower. Yeah, I can see you. M1A1 carbines from the table. Well. Mine. More ammo. Grab it from any loose weapon of the same type you are carrying. Approach the fence and fire six rounds at your target. Your accuracy will be defined by the tightness of your crosshairs. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, fire six. Six more rounds at your target in different stances and while moving. Okay. You will be more accurate while.
while not moving and in the crouching or prone positions. These skills could mean your life. My could mean my life. The magazine is empty. Shut up. The weapon will reload automatically. That's something someone would have actually said. Okay, hang on. Totally missed. Oh, I hit. Um, let's go to crouch. Let's go to prone. All right, private. Move on to the next Woo. area. Grab up a Springfield rifle from the table, switching it for your carbine. Turn to the left. Move to the fence and fire two rounds at your target. Okay. Now fire two rounds at your target while aiming down your sight. Okay. Ooh. Eh. All right. I hope it's clear to you that you will be more accurate while aiming down the sight. All right, Private. Move on to the next area. <laughs> Exchange your Springfield for one of the Thompson submachine guns on the table. A Thompson? Unless you've got three hands, you can only carry two weapons. Oh. Besides your sidearm and grenade. Fire ten rounds at your target. First from the oh. hip, then aiming down the gun sight. Compare your accuracy. Get used to firing both ways. You will notice a slight zoom effect when you raise and aim down the sight of a weapon without a scope. A slight zoom in effect. That seems like Take a few steps while aiming down your sight. You're gonna move slower this way. In close quarters combat, you can hit your enemy with the butt end of your weapon. This is called a melee attack. Try it with your Thompson. Don't screw around, kid. This is for real. Okay. Now switch weapons, private. Unless you're as dumb as you are ugly, it may dawn on you that each weapon is good for different situations. Yeah. Make the wrong choice and you could buy the farm. Uh, Fire three more rounds at your target. Let's switch the gun, yeah? Outstanding, Private. Proceed to the next area. Yeehaw! I was going to fire in the frag grenades from the table. Ooh. Pick them up. Throw a grenade into each of the openings below. Oh no. Rock and fire. Move behind the concrete post. And lean out to the left, then the right. <laughs> this will help you take it from the enemy. Oh my gosh. There we go. There's one. Beep, beep, beep. Um, that's actually, wait, wait, let's use the Q button. Only Darth builds your Q button zone with goodness, Duffy goodness. Move on to the next area. Wait, where's the, there it is, <laughs> I'm an idiot. Remember private, if you get hurt, Grab one of those health kits and use it. Don't be a hero. They will save your life. Our last station will be explosives. Pick them up, partner. That's a lot of firepower there. Treat it with respect. Okay. That stuff doesn't care what it blows up. Place your explosives on the cinder block wall. Boop. Note that a stopwatch has appeared. Yeah. This will tell you how much time you have to get your butt out of there unless you want it blown off. Fire in the hole! Good job, Private. Well done. Keep your weapons with you and clean at all times. You are dismissed. Yay. I'm dismissed. Can I go back? Yay. Oh, courage is fear holding on a minute longer. General George S. Patton. Should we be quoting him? Don't know. Loading. Baker Company, listen up. This is the big one. Operation Overlord. The air and seaborne invasion of Normandy. 
On H hour D Day, Seaborne Infantry will attack five beaches codenamed Utah, Omaha, Gold, Juno, and Sword here on the coast of Normandy. Utah and Omaha beaches will be attacked by three of our infantry divisions. At the same time, two British and one Canadian division will hit Gold, Juno, and Sword beaches. The Airborne will be landing six hours before H hour, before the air and naval bombardments. The British 6th Airborne Division will be landing here. At the same time, the 101st and the 82nd Airborne will be landing in these areas. The Dews River Estuary here divides Utah and Omaha Beach. The mission of the 101st is to capture the Dews River crossings linking Utah and Omaha Beach and to protect the flanks of Utah Beach. This road here is the main highway that connects the entire Cotentin Peninsula. The Germans have troop concentrations in this region. When those troops are mobilized into a counterattack on the beaches, they'll have to move along this road. The 101st is going to make sure that doesn't happen. Baker Company, that's us, has been assigned this causeway here. The Pathfinders, like Private Martin, will be dropped ahead of the main force and will plant beacons on the ground to mark the landing zones. However, there is no telling what will happen once we're on the ground. So I want all of you to learn the objectives of every unit in both the 101st and 82nd. I also want you to study these maps and photographs until you've memorized them. We will be landing behind the Atlantic Wall, between several German garrisons. We can't expect to be relieved until at least several hours after H hour. This is what we've been training for. Good luck. Ooh. Okay, June 5th, 1944. 1800 hours. Greenham Common, England. In about three hours, I'll be in Normandy as one of the pathfinders from my unit. I'll be landing ahead of the main airborne force. The pathfinders land before the main force and place beacons on the landing fields to guide the rest of the pilots and paratroopers in. The brass ascending <laughs> the airborne in first in the early hours of the morning to protect the flanks of Utah Beach. At the first light, the main the main force of the invasion will hit the beaches for weeks. The entire invasion force, more than 75,000 men, have has been cooped up and forbidden in contact with anyone outside with nothing to do but memorize maps and battle plans. We're all... We're all... Guy quite eager to be in France. A few hours ago, General Eisenhower paid us a visit. If we pull all this off, the Germans are in for one hell of a surprise. Outskirts of Saint Mer, Eagles. Oh, should I be proning? Because for my test, I remember. Yeah, look. There's a truck driving past. Hopefully no one notices me. <laughs> right. I have done some testing, so I sort of know this tiny bit of the level, but I haven't gone very far forward. Link up with Sergeant Teeth. Okay. You know what, let's just crouch. I know there's a guy here that... Where is he? Oh. We can go in here, look. Look at this place. There's some health in here. This door cannot be opened. You never need to try to open a closed door. Oh, what a rubbish game. Um. Aha. Oh. Get Sergeant Heath's leg bag um, eh. don't know Sergeant 
set up the radio beacon. Right. Do we kill these dudes? Damn it. This is the only way to go, damn. Okay then. Yes, he got a friend? He was talking to someone. Hello? Ha! Are they dead? Oh, they were just playing trackers. But do we want an M1 carbide? Hmm. Keep this. Ah, there's the radio beacon. Right, we should probably not melee. Oh, There's all sorts of vehicles. I don't like this. This is very out in the open. Oh, she is. Oh, good, they're Americans. Defend the drop zone. Um, stop doing that. Oh, Jesus. Ooh. I'm just out in the open. Run! I'm trying to get to the blooming wall. Oh! Okay. Hello? Hello? Um, space. Shift. C. Oh god, I'm stuck. Hi, lads. Why am I. I don't like this. Oh, we um. Oh. Press four. Oh yeah, I forgot about the grenades. Hello. Great. Okay. So far, I haven't done much shooting. Oh, blim, blimmin, blimmin blobs. Okay, there we go. I've killed someone. <laughs> Stop exploring the house and kill the people. Oh, stop pressing. Okay, um, the crouch situation is a bit weird. <sighs> Could do with some more health now. Great. Did I even grab that health? I don't know. Battles are won by slaughter and maneuver. The greater the general, the more he contributes in maneuver. The less he demands in slaughter. Which Churchill? I did the wrong voice. Oh, yes. Was that really the first level? D-Day. Oh, 20 hours. Nobody seems to have dropped where they were supposed to. I haven't seen anyone from my unit yet, but luckily I've hooked up with some of these guys from Baker Company. We also have men from Albi, Dog, and Fox Companies with us. 
Um, what a mess. Uh, we're getting ready to capture the village of Steemer Eglis. About five miles from Utah Beach, we're approaching for a narrow field with minefields on each side. Captain Foley says, um, says there's two platoons of German paratroopers in the, that village. I'd say we've got serious fight ahead of us. The roads of, of Steemer Eglis connects Utah Beach to the main highway of the peninsula, which should put us right in the path most like the German counterattack. Hmm. Alright guys, get set to move. On my command. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Oh, I should be... Oh, Bob. Suppressing fire. I think, I don't know. Okay, let's use this dead cow. <laughs> Can you tell I'm not cut up for war situations? Um. Okay, there's still loads of people dropping in. How do I get over it? Uh -huh. Okay. Ooh. Hey, can I use it? Alright, Bob. Oh, Pinkerton. From the Pinkerton. Oh, wait. Oh, phew, they were German, right. I was like, are these the right guys? Hi. You ready? Oh. Oh. Idiot. Nice. He died well. Ah. Clear that building. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh. I'll move. Oh, look at that, it's a tank. Well. Great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. Okay, let's uh, try this all again. There may be a lot of this in this series. He decided to get right way down. Okay. Okay, just keep firing at him. Ooh. Oh no! What? Oh gosh! Oh no! I might have to cut that out. Okay. Come on. Let's don't stop. Don't stop in the open. Don't. Oh gosh. No. Fudging hell. Well, that is um, all we have time for this episode, so uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, well, that usual YouTube shit is appreciated. Thanks for watching, and doodle pipski.